There's a guy in Columbia, South Carolina, who is arguably one of the best, not even arguably, he is one of the best receivers in HBCU football. Why? Because as a true freshman, he was arguably the biggest reason why his team, the Yellow Jackets of Allen University, was able to average 420 yards per game, making them the best offense in the conference. He was a true freshman putting up big numbers and big production for the Allen University Yellow Jackets. He goes by the name of Jamal Jones. And Jamal Jones, at 5'10", 175 pounds, is a, he's a talent unlike you've, you've seen before. Um, and it makes, me, it makes me wonder why, how did he go so um, underlooked? Like, why didn't he get a lot of attention coming out of high school? This we'll never know. But I'm happy that he's in South Carolina. Shout out to Allen University. And, you know, me watching the Allen, the Allen University Yellow Jackets as much as I have last season and making a video that I did on him, he, along with that quarterback, uh, David Reck III, were two guys who really stuck out to me. But I really want to point y'all out to Jamal Jones and get his name out there, get him some recognition. Now, in his freshman season, 62 catches, 867 yards, 14 yards per catch was his average in eight total touchdowns. He was on pace for a thousand yard season. By the way, he also missed one and a half games. So something tells me had he played in that one and a half, in that game, he would have been over a thousand yards. He would have been over a thousand yards. Why? What makes you think that? What makes you think that, Kobe? I'll tell you. So, in the month of October, right, this man was on fire. It was a three game stretch in the month of October where he went over 130 yards a game. I will say that again. They were, it was a stretch, a three game stretch in the month of October where this kid, Jamal Jones, went over 130 yards in all three games. When I watched him play, he will take the top off of your defense like he's Deshaun Jackson. And he and that's not even the scary part about him. He has top tier speed. He has top, top tier uh ball carrier vision, right? Top tier hands, but that's not the scary part about him. The most scariest thing about Jamal Jones, in my opinion, is that after he gets the ball, he is going to make something happen with that ball. The yards after catch is something that you have to be scared about when it comes to Jamal Jones. Because, yes, he looks like Deshaun Jackson when he's taking the top off your defense, right? He's a deep threat. But if he catches it and he has space, now he turns into Debo Samuel, right? He Now he's going to break the tackles. He's going to elude your defenders. If he has any sort of space whatsoever, he's gone, right? The angles you have on this kid, it does not matter because not only is the speed top tier, but he has the acceleration to go with it. So let me get y'all back to more of his production, right? He led the team in every receiving statistical category as a true freshman, not a red cert freshman. He was a true freshman. And to add on to that, he led the conference in receiving yards per game with 110, 110 per game. Receptions per game. He led the conference in that as well with seven. Seven catches per game. Also, he was second in the conference in receiving yards. Listen, my man Jamal Jones, he's one of the top, he's one of the top HBCU receivers out there. And um, he needs recognition, which is why I made this video. Uh, a video on that quarterback, David Wright III, will be coming as well because I'm a big fan of his. Um, this was just to let y'all know that not only at the FCS level does HBCUs have talents, not the Division II level as well. And we know, not to not to you know put this out there and guarantee this will happen, but there's a there's always a, a very small amount of Division II athletes that get a chance to play at the next level, at the NFL level. I'm not saying Jamal Jones is a guaranteed lock. All I'm saying is, if he keeps up this production, because he's he's you know he's going into his sophomore season, if he keeps up this production, I don't see how he's not one of those kids, one of those few kids from the Division II level that gets a shot at the NFL. The talent is there, and make no mistake about it, I I thoroughly believe that if he was at the FCS level, he would still be doing this kind of production. He's a he's a, he's a, he's a boss man. 
Dude's, dude's, dude is decent. Dude is decent. But y'all let me know what y'all think about Mr. Jamal Jones now that you've seen his uh, his production on tape, right? Also, if you already knew about Jamal Jones, let me know what you think about him as well. And if you think, if or if you agree with me or disagree with me, that he could be one of those kids to get an NFL look when it's all said and done at Allen University. Uh, but with that being said, man, you're watching the CFL podcast. I go by the name of Kobe. I'm out.